Hey guys, so this is a weird video. Um, I didn't plan on making it, but I thought, why not? Um, some of you guys were saying in the panda video that I made, which we'll be making a part three and then making a full guide on, but um, some of the things you guys were saying was that um, you were annoyed. Not really, no, that wasn't even the right word. You guys didn't agree with the fact that I said Pendle did okay damage. You guys thought he did extreme damage, and we'll get into why that makes a lot of sense, why you guys think that way, and it's not necessarily wrong, but on a base level, he is okay damage. The reason why I say that um, is because his damage is not crazy. In fact, the early game, when you have nothing, is brutal um, as Pendle. Um, but how I make my decisions is by comparing them to other characters. Um, now, it's kind of weird consider Pendle is his own weird breed of whatever the hell he is, of lizard person, but um, I still compare him with other people. So, for instance, uh, Pendle does 98 damage around there um, at late game, and then if you amplify him with mods, it gets uh, way different. But we'll get into that later. On a base level, without mods, without any backstab effects, he does 98 damage. Now, he does have a fairly high attack damage, so he's able to achieve 300 damage, which, in my opinion, is good damage over the course of five seconds maybe maybe more depending on if again this is not with an attack speed mod this is just bare bones he does around 300 damage over the course of five seconds now you may think that's really good it's not <laughs> um other characters like marquee and galt those are attack characters those are characters that i consider damage dealers like one of the characters that are able to deal the most damage in the entire game even with marquee's debuff or nerf whatever you want to call it he is still absurdly powerful he can still easily achieve around 300 damage per hit and then if you get his special Special ult man is passive the third shot does more damage something like that that's what it is yeah um you can get beyond that which is awesome and then if you invest in that you can always consistently hit that 300 damage mark which is insane allows him to cut down targets absurdly fast um also he has a more intense slow which pendle has his little cross blades or injection which slows people but mark he has a much more intense slow and it lasts for a lot longer and he doesn't have to be a point blank range to do so a lot of you guys were saying that um mark or sorry not marquee um uh <laughs> pendles needs um a more intense slow it's not that his slow is goes away fast it's the fact that his slow is not really slowing anybody especially if they have any movement mod it just doesn't matter they can easily still run away from you and that kind of breaks the character a little bit i agree that there at least should be a helix mutation not necessarily a something like a, you know a built-in modifier but something to at least pick so that you can say that hey man i'm willing to dive on people and i'm playing this way because a pendle believe it or not can be played multiple ways it's really weird he's like an old like you know it's like a tool not like a douche tool but like a tool as in like you know the multi-tool can do a bunch of shit. Anyway, so back to my original point. Um, Galt, people like that, Galt and Marquis are the the things I think of when I think of a like damage. Same with attack as those kinds of people. Those are the people I think of when I think of holy shit, that person's main thing that they're good at is just dealing crazy amounts of damage. Um, at a base level, just at a base level, um, some of you guys are saying that you need to, the Galt only works when he gets in a trap, untrue, untrue, Galt, Galt on a base level with his shotguns does 200 damage at a decent range, which is fucking insane, and that his guns don't necessarily fire slowly, uh, mind you, I think that 250 damage gets, equates to something like that, I don't know the exact numbers, um, but that does equate to his tactical rounds, which is at the end of his clip, but still, around the, the first couple bullets, I think does maybe 150 which is still a lot. Like, it's, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> it's crazy. With all that being said, is, Frost, is fucking Pendle a little bitch boy and can't do goddamn thing? No. Stop it. Stop it, me. Stop it, you. You're the one doing this. Actually, it's me thinking that you're saying that. Sorry if I put those words in your mouth. It was not in my intent. Anyway. Regardless, what I'm saying um, is Pendles is amazing. Pendle is one of those characters that I would honestly um, rank on one of the best characters in all of Battleborn. Um, I'll be making a video telling you why I think he's that way and explaining the character and how to use him because I'll mention it in the video or this next clip that I filmed before this because whatever. Anyways, <laughs> um, all right, so we've already established that Pendle doesn't do street, like, crazy damage. He does really okay damage, like really okay. It can hurt people and get them kind of close to half health without mods. I'm not, I want to preface that because of the whole segment where we're talking about that and that doesn't count because that's fucking RNG. Not really, you can have a shit mod, but still, what's my, my point? Calm down. Calm down me. Get through this video. By the way, real quick, um, this was not me getting mad at you guys for telling me you guys your opinion. I love that. Keep doing that. I just, this is my perception. The reason why I still to this day think Pendle does okay damage. Because on a base level, I think he does okay damage. He's not a Galt and or a Marquis. And both of them are able to achieve more damage than Pendle's, but also have the advantage of being long range. Slightly. Galt is a little less so, but you get my point. Anyway, so back to what I was saying for like the eighth time. <laughs> ah. Pendle's is most likely not going to be the thing that instigates a kill. Unless a target is already there. Uh, like if they're already quarter health and yes you can do that umbra he's actually really good at taking down as soon as you see her shield going for the injection dive on her and you'll be able to kill her all right so what that gibberish was what i just said was pendle to me is not going to be the person that is going to be a one-on-one -on -one encounter winner 100 which usually galt slash attack is when it's one-on-one -on -one, those people are gonna succeed crazy pendle doesn't do that really 
Pendle does damage and then gets out, which a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments, and I mentioned that in the video as well, so we were both right. Cool. The main point of this video was just to say that Pendle is, is, does okay damage. Now, with that being said about the whole damage thing, Pendle does have the illusion of good, of extreme damage. Sorry, I gotta go intense in that one because he does. Um, if you, you spam all of his abilities, you will see a target melt. Now, that is burst damage. If you activate injection, then you lay on them for give or take two seconds, you're gonna be able to see a pretty big difference. You're gonna be able to see a chunk of health gone. Um, but that falls apart when they start to backpedal or when they start to do anything else. So he has the illusion of a lot of damage, almost the idea that, oh, if I could stay on them for just a little bit longer, I'd fucking annihilate them. That's your probably thought process. But most of that had to do with injection, doing 200 damage on contact, and then you doing decent damage over the course of that two seconds. So it doesn't mean he does great damage, it just means that he does really good burst damage. There's a difference. I, I would go over consistency over burst damage. That's just me, though. That's what I'm comparing it to, the baseline of everything that they do. And that is also considering that they're like attack speed. And that's also, Galt is able to fucking wreck 200 damage per slug with 8 shots, and he fires quite quickly. That's a lot of damage. I feel like I'm talking to you like you're a child. Apologies, not my intent. Alright, that's that's all I'm going to say for Pendles. All, uh, the reason why is because I'm probably going to make a video where we're going to really go into him. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to keep going. But, um, yes, Pendles it does not do excessive damage. It's great at burst damage. And also, I know, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but Pendles is one of the best characters when it comes to supporting a ally. It's really weird. I don't know why he is. I just find that works best. Like, he's able to compliment his counterparts. Like, people like um, uh, Galilea, who's able to do, like, extreme damage with melee damage. You being able to, like, wall someone off slash slow them. Like, it, it, he kind of makes up for their shortcomings, weirdly enough. So, it fits really well with other melee characters like Wrath. Anyone, to be honest. I've heard you guys say he does great with Oscar Mike. I played in the game with Galt, and he fucking kills with Galt, all that shit. He's a really good character to partner with someone's already good damage. Well, I guess that's just the basis of, like, a, a character that's able to get a drop on, a, on an enemy. So I guess that makes sense. I don't know. All right, so that brings us to almost the end. I still have one little clip that I'm going to show you guys, which is something I recorded with Audacity, so it may sound a tad different, but hopefully you guys still enjoy. Basically, some of you guys were just saying, hey, man, Pendle does fucking the best damage, and in the next clip, we'll talk about that extreme damage that you guys were talking about. It is the illusion because of mods. Anyways, bye, guys. I mean, transition. Fuck. So with all that being said, Pendle does not do extreme damage, but he does do okay damage. Now, some of you guys are probably like, dude, Fuck, fuck off, man. I've died, like, in a second with Pendle. Dear God, man, it's not even a joke. He does so much damage. Or you guys could be saying, oh, man, I go on a tear with Pendle. People don't even know what happened. And I'm like, listen, man, you need to calm down. It's a video game right now, all right? We're just having a conversation. It's the whole thing. Okay. You know, but honestly, for the people that are saying that, oh, man, Pendle, I I've died in seconds from them. Pendle can be extremely amazing if he has the right mods. Um, I think I mentioned this in that little clip that I showed you guys with my face and whatnot. I'm in post right now because I just played some with Pendle. And I got my ass handed to him me with uh, versing other Pendle players uh, because people have people can do extreme damage with the correct mod set and that's kind of a problem that lies within Battleborn if somebody has um, the perfect mod lo loadout for that just boosts that character's uh, a stat that is already really good so for instance if you up if you up against a Galt or a Marquis that has like an attack mod and attack speed mod that are both legendaries Holy shit, can that be unbalanced? <laughs> um, and there's not a lot you can do to counter him if he's able to, like, one-shot you in a couple seconds. Um, unless it comes to team-focusing people, but that could be said for generally every character. You just focus him with a bunch of people, and then he's gonna die regardless just because the damage is stacking. It's a whole thing. Um, but yes, Pendle can be am amazing with mods, but that's my point, is I don't think a character should have to need mods to be really powerful. Um, now, with that being said, is Pendle bad? Fuck no. <laughs> I played like three games with him and I wrecked him all of them. What Pendle is supposed to do, and a lot of you guys know exactly what I'm going to say, and you guys know exactly how to play this character, um, and it's the, uh, he's not supposed to be an attack like, murderer. He's supposed to be the person that gets people there slash executes people. Now that means that he's not going to be able to burst down people like Galt um, if you catch him within the trap. And even Galt, you don't even need to catch them in the trap, you just need to be accurate with your shotgun to do massive damage. Anyways. Um, he's none of those things. He's supposed to get in, do damage, then get out. Um, and in the early game, he's gonna suck. Because you don't have any of your mods activated, which does help him actually be able to, like, you know, rip apart people. Um, and you don't have any of his special, um, mutations that allow him to actually dig into people. Like, a backstab that actually allow him to be crazy on the battlefield. But, um, with that being said, what you should do is try to level up as fast as you can, as well as be a nuisance, um, in the early game. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm gonna make a whole video about Pendle, explaining how he works and the things that you need to look out for, because he, by far, 
far is, and out of all the Battleborn characters, he is by far the most, in my opinion, complex character. Now, he's not necessarily complex in the things that he have to worry about in the back burner, but he is complex in the fact that he is so situational that I don't think a lot of people know how to play that. Because, you know, you have to do certain things at certain tiers, you have to really be aware of what you can take on and what you cannot, um, and you have to be aware that sometimes you die and that's not the biggest deal. Because at, at a base level, you're not really crazy when it comes to pushing and all that other stuff you're really good when it comes to just weakening people's defenses and taking away people's crutch if that makes any sense and we'll go into that in the pendle video that i'm gonna make i just wanted to make this quick video because i've seen a lot of guys were saying that pendle is like fucking it's absurd damage and yes he can but if he has a bunch of mods which i wouldn't say is a lot of damage then i would just say that that's that's that you know you're just amplifying something that's not there so of course it's going to be powerful if you invest in it that's just how mods work but um, yeah, just to say that, um, he does okay damage, which can be amplified to extreme damage, but I just want to make that, um, clear. At least that's my stance on it. Um, you guys may have a different opinion, and I respect that, but this is what I believe and have garnered from, you know, just seeing damage output from other characters and seeing how that fares. Again, by no means does this make, uh, Pendulum a terrible character. By no means is that the case. In fact, I would actually list him as one of, like, the best characters in Battleborn if... A lot of a lot of things require that if, <laughs> but anyways, we'll get into that in the panel video that I hopefully will make pretty soon because because No Man's Sky has got delayed on Friday for PC and guess who's getting it on PC? Fucking great, happy about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Andor Frost, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, again, it wasn't meant to be like a douche, douche move. It was just meant to tell you guys my thoughts on what you guys were saying and all that kind of stuff, and telling you why I said what I said. And bye, guys. Also, real quick, uh, me and Post probably should slow down when talking and be more clear. Realizing that thing <laughs> I do a lot is just go 100 miles per hour, probably not the best thing. We'll try to do better with that. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs>